Hello there and welcome beautiful stars. Thank you very much for being here today. I hope you all are doing really well. In today's reading we will take a look at what might your person want to happen between you two. What are their desires and hopes for the connection with you? And uh, most of you will be watching for a love interest, but you're also welcome to watch this for a platonic relationship. Just disregard anything that wouldn't apply to your situation. And you have four options to choose from today. Go with whichever one calls to you the most, and you may be drawn to more than one. You're welcome to watch more than one. And you can choose multiple readings if you're watching for different people as well. I do recommend to pray for guidance before watching any readings to determine if it's a message that would be beneficial for you to hear at this time. So option number one, we have this green obelisk, dark green, I'm unsure of the stone, with the, I forget what it's called, the unfolding path tarot. That's number one. Number two is the triple goddess tarot with this blue heart. Number three is the transient light tarot with the heart key. And number four is the Yuletide tarot with opalite, I believe. I think one of you told me this is opalite. I'm not sure what it is. It almost feels like plastic. So it's this shiny object, this shiny stone. Okay, so I will give you guys some time to pause the video if you want to take your time choosing and then I will see you at your reading. Timestamps are below in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you very much. Hello there number one. Thank you for being here. Those of you who chose the dark green obelisk with the unfolding path tarot. I hope you're doing really well. So let's see what is going on with your person. What do they want to happen between you? What might they want to happen between you two? And please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. Leave behind anything that feels wrong for you. You never have to take something from a reading if it does not feel to be your story. Okay. So, some overall cards on how is your person feeling about you and this connection with you, number one. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups coming out first. The Three of Pentacles. Some very smiley, happy cards here so far. We have the Tower with the Knight of Cups. And we have Death in Reverse. Interesting. Okay, it's almost like this person wants to bring something back to life with you. Maybe this was a breakup situation and you guys could be working on mending things, getting back together because I see that this person is feeling very much in love with you, overjoyed about the connection right now with this Nine of Cups and even this Three of Pentacles has um, a lot of positive energy and uh, smiley faces on this as well. So they feel maybe you guys can do something to work together. You guys might have this person as a coworker as well. I'm going to get a get a few oracle cards for more context. I'm also seeing maybe some of you guys ran into each other after a long period of not talking, not seeing each other. It might have just been kind of a surprise meeting. Here's childhood. This might be a childhood sweetheart. Does not have to be. But yeah, it says revisit the past here. Lightness of being, foundations. All right, this person, I'm getting, they feel incredibly excited about um, getting a new start with you or getting a shot for the first time. Maybe you guys didn't ever get to get this off the ground. All right, and then we have fear. With... past life relationship. You have known each other before. Wow. So quite a few cards indicating that this is someone uh, from your past. 
or someone who, even if this is a newer connection, they feel that you are deeply familiar, like they've known you forever, they've known you for their whole life. Um, abundance, all right, very nice card here as well. I'm also getting, again, this could mean that you guys uh, do something to work together or this person is really feeling like they want to share a lot with you. They want to share in the fruits of their labors. They want to maybe um, do something to really materially provide for you in your life. Okay, friendship is showing up on the bottom of the deck. So this could be a friendship advancing to something more. Um, I'm just getting that this person is so happy that you either came into their life for the first time or have returned that they ran into you again, that you guys are getting a new shot at this. So, wow. Okay, I, I we have the devil on the bottom of the deck. So I feel maybe there was something, some kind of interference, something that was keeping you guys apart, or it could even be just their own fears of... Um, getting close to someone, emotionally close to someone. I feel they've recently done some deep work to overcome that or they went through something that was very transformational, something that just kind of happened to them, um, something kind of extreme I'm getting. And it made them have just a whole new lease on life. You know, the kind of experience where you have a near-death experience and you come back a new person. I'm, I'm kind of getting that's uh, kind of like a process that this person went through. So maybe not literally that kind of a thing, but they are coming back a refreshed person who is ready to love. And I feel right now their fear is more around like, if I don't take action in this connection with number one, I'm going to miss out on something very beautiful. They have a fear of um, not taking this opportunity with you because they feel that you guys work together well on a practical level and the emotional level they feel is out of this world between you two. Speaking about of this world, we have the high priestess showing up. Okay, so what do they want to happen between you, number one? So it looks like this person feels a pretty deep soul connection with you. Here's paralyzing fear showing up again. All right, so what's going on with this fear? I feel this person, they're like, I'm finally ready to face my fears. Something really changed their whole perspective, their, their whole perspective on life. And that's given them the courage to start facing their fears. One of their fears might have been em emotional intimacy with someone. Okay, here's the four of wands. Or embracing a, a life, like a partnership with someone special. maybe moving in together. Three of cups. So yeah, I see this is the kind of person who maybe wanted to keep people in the friend zone for a while and wanted to kind of isolate themselves. I, I see that they they could be extroverted where they like to be around people, but it's more just on a like a group level rather than one-to-one. -one. So kind of an Aquarius thing here where they like to, or, or Gemini even, where they like to kind of just get to know everyone, but it's hard to get super close to one person. Yeah, there's a lot of fear around that. Here's the Eight of Swords. So I'm seeing that this person has started to heal from that. I'm getting that they they maybe want to help you work through any fears you might have about them and this relationship with them. I feel they want to have a big, long conversation about that and maybe show you that they're different now, that they've had a life-changing experience or some kind of huge revelation or epiphany that just occurred to them. Because sometimes people can just be driving along, walking along, and something just hits them out of nowhere. So it could have even been some kind of divine intervention here. All right. And I'm too afraid to talk. More fear. So I really feel this person wants to break through the fear barrier between both of you. I feel both of you could have some fears around talking this over and maybe moving things out of the friend zone even. Especially if this has been a long ongoing connection where especially if you were childhood friends or something and it's been so many years growing together and then it's like how do we even approach the subject okay here's the four of pentacles with the fool so fool risk taking trying something new just starting a new life and here's the king of cups 
So they're like, I'm a new person. I'm a changed man. I'm a changed woman. Before I wanted to just keep it all inside, keep it all to myself, not share anything with anyone. I'm also seeing maybe something has changed in their financial situation or they just feel not so tied up in their money. Like they're not afraid of losing uh, money or even I I'm, I'm feel they're not as afraid of losing people either in that they're able to allow they're able to stay detached with but still forming a healthy attachment if that makes sense so they're able to be able to open up emotionally now but they are able to not get so attached where they feel like their life their world will be over if they lose the relationship if they lose money the, uh, something has happened to them where they're just more like fluid in life now with all these cups cards so they're more go with the flow and what will be will be so i feel they want to show you that they've changed they want to have this big discussion on this and maybe some of them are still too afraid to talk but it's like they have this desire to get these words out to explain themselves Okay, and then we have trust, faith, surrender, following, confidence. So I'm getting, despite still having some fears, they want to build the trust between you two. They want to inspire more trust in you, in them. Okay, then we have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel... One thing they want to do is maybe cheer you on in something that you've been working very hard at. And I feel they want to be there as someone who is really encouraging you. They're seeing that as one way that they can build trust between you two is if they show you unconditional love and support. Like no, no strings attached. I want to be here for you just out of love for you. Okay, here's the two of wands. I feel there's also some kind of surrendering going on here where they realize maybe you're not ready for a relationship with them or there's maybe a couple different paths that you can take in life right now. And they're trusting that if this is meant to be, it will happen, that your heart will be drawn to them as well and you guys will be able to work this out together. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so they might be noticing that you have a lot on your plate the burdens are heavy on you right now, and I'm getting they want to build trust with you by maybe helping you to take some, some stuff off of your plate. I feel they want to work on being a real team player with you, and again, they, they want to help you without expecting anything back in return, because I'm getting right now this person just really has a lot of love for you. There's a lot of feelings there. Um, I, I'm getting very high hopes for the future as well with this Three of Wands. Okay, so let's get some additional info here. Get this um, bag of cards out. Anything else about what they want to have happen or anything else going on with them? All right, first card out, we have cycles. With boundaries. Okay, so maybe some of you guys have been working on things with this person for quite a while now maybe it feels like things have been going in circles and you maybe you've put up some boundaries with them and i feel that they're prepared to accept them i feel they recognize them and they understand them and they respect them and now they're like the only way that i can gain your trust is to show you that i care for you and that i want to do things for you without expecting anything back right now okay and here is say what you mean i feel they're very open to hearing what you have to say they want honesty between you two they want to get rid of the fear that you maybe you both have about expressing yourselves to one another okay so i have some more cards here anything else we need to know about this person what they want to have happen here this card this card deck has some um, sharp or hard-hitting cards so just to warn you here so just take what resonates for you okay so wow okay they love you so the love really was coming through this reading I'd say right away with that nine of cups the three of Pentacles the knight of cups childhood and they want to argue so i'm getting they want to hash this all out even if there's going to be an argument i feel they're okay with that they want to show you that they can still love you even if there's differing opinions here 
They're like a healthy relationship. You can still have disagreements as long as the love is there and you're trying to understand one another. And they are regretting something. So they might be regretting some of these cycles from the past where maybe you guys get together, you drift apart, wanting different things. So I'm getting something happen to make this person a deeper person. There's been a deepening in their life. Okay, so let's look at a possible next action, if any, with them. What's a possible next action with them? We have the Seven of Cups. I'm going to get one more deck for this as well. With Mice. Okay, so fear is on here again. So I feel that they want to talk through every little detail that has been bothering you about moving forward with them. And I feel that they want to get some things off of their chest as well. But I feel more so, I feel they want to listen to you and they want to allay your fears. Because I think we have the King of Cups coming up here. So to me, this is someone who's very receptive, can handle just any emotions thrown at them and still keep this like calm demeanor and have this compassion. So I see that maybe they also want to discuss um, what you see for your future. So there's a lot of confusion around maybe what you want in this connection as well. So they want to talk over all the little nagging details, even if, even if it's painful to talk over some of the stuff. They're like, we just need to do it. We need to get it all out on the table. Okay, so let's get a little bit of advice for you in this connection. What's something to do more of in this connection, number one? Something to do more of if you want to continue in this connection. Okay, here's strength. So I'm getting keep strong boundaries and like stick to your guns. Um, number one, I feel that they respect that. They respect a strong person. Okay, what's something to do less of in this connection? We have the Three of Swords. I feel if you've been suffering alone, I feel it's time to maybe share some of that heartache with this person. No more suffering in silence. Um, I feel like get it all out there with this person and see how they react. If they are treating you with compassion, respect, and they, they want to work on it, they want to make sure that you're not going to feel that way again. Um, it feels like it could be very worth proceeding with them. If they kind of just laugh things off and they're cold with you, then that would not be a good sign um, at all. Um, but yeah, I feel this is mostly saying you're not meant to suffer, struggle alone. All right. So let's see. Anything else you need to hear about this connection? Trust. Trust again. Wow. It is safe to trust in this situation. So um, if you do want to keep continue working in this connection, number one, I feel most of you would want to um, then keep working on building the trust here. Because the cards are showing that this person is receptive to your concerns right now and will be very sensitive to your feelings and your desires and what you want for your life. It could be that this person's kind of a blank slate now where for their future, where they're like, you know what? I don't really have much of anything planned for my future. I'm kind of open to whatever. So if you want to start charting a course, I might be wanting to just be there by your side and be your partner. Okay. And then we have darkest hour here. Trust, trust that something's going to come out of maybe some of these darkest hours that you've gone through. Okay. So trust that the light is coming. The light is coming back number one, in some capacity, whether in this this connection or in some other way, the light is coming back. You're never going to be stuck in the darkness forever. So keep the hope and uh, pray. Pray for the light to return. Okay, so I'm just going to get you guys some general advice here and then we'll get some message cards from your person. Okay, anything else that you need to hear right now, number one? Okay, which are these cards? Um, sleep, guardian angel. Okay, so maybe if you guys have been dealing with a lot of fear and worries, um, 
getting some more sleep if you can. Doing something to maybe get in a really good sleep routine would maybe help cut back on some of the worries and anxieties. I'm hearing it could cut back by at least 50%. All right, so make sleep a priority for yourself as much as you possibly can. Also, you can um, pray for protection. Maybe pray to your guardian angel for some extra protection as you sleep, for some good dreams. And we have thoughts create your reality. It was coming up in reverse. So I'm also I'm getting that maybe if you guys are having a lot of fears and anxieties, I, I feel that this is saying you don't have to worry that every single little fear or anxiety is going to manifest because um, I feel that thoughts help to create reality, but only when they are very, very like focused and applied, you're taking action toward them. Um, so don't, if you guys have like another layer of worry on top of your worries or anxieties and fears already, you don't need another layer of worry, worrying that your fears are going to create a negative reality for you. Just having those fears and emotions that won't necessarily start creating a bad thing for you. And if you're really worried about that, I feel some, um, prayer, some more rest, sleep, silencing your mind and meditation could really help you guys. Okay, so let's get some message cards from your person. Actually, I'm called to get one more card here. Anything else that you guys need to hear or know right now? We have Silent Night. Wow, that's amazing because I was just feeling some inner silence. Maybe some outer silence would be so helpful for you guys. Oh, wow, this talks about sleep on here too. If by night the world should sleep, a sleep so deep the silence be deafening, there would sound nothing at all, at all nothing would sound. So I'm getting maybe some more silent nights, um, peaceful nights, where you, you just choose to just shut off the worries for a little while, shut out the world, and just bring all the things in that make you feel peace, whether that's some kind of music, book, TV show that you watch, um, a special person that you talk to that brings you peace, prayer, anything that brings you peace. Spend some more nights in, like quiet nights in. Okay, some message cards from your person, number one. So let's get a shadow message and a light message here. I am losing faith that it will work between us. So faith and trust here. So this person might be worried that you might be like sick of them or just ready to move on or that you're ready to go a different route in life right now. Or something will come up between you two. That's irreconcilable. That's some of their worries here. And the light message. I've never felt so connected to you than I do now. So yeah, something really shed light on the connection between you for them. They've just had this experience in their heart. It's like conversion experience. Okay. I ran away. And this card was coming up in reverse as well. So I'm getting that. They're like, I want to come back. I want to do things right this time. Now, I feel that's, if, if that's the case for you, if it's been going in cycles where they're going and coming, um, definitely keep your boundaries, number one, so you don't have to keep getting hurt here. You have to speak your mind and tell them what's important for you, what you need from this relationship, what's a deal breaker. Here's you found out something about me. So I get this person's like, I want to be an open book now. I want to lay it all out there on the table. And, but now it says not now. Okay. Another card here. Let's see what that not now means too. Reach out to me, please. Okay, so we did have I'm too afraid to talk. So it might be one of those things. Number one, if you are feeling called to, you might want to reach out to them to start the conversation that way because they might be trying to respect your space. All right, and they don't want to pester you. You matter to me. I'm taking action.
and we have You Are My Soulmate. On the bottom of the deck, I'm ready to commit. And if that's the case, I would definitely take your time with that and just see if they are willing to build up your, their tr or your trust in them. Okay, number one, I hope this reading helped you. Hope it made sense to you. And thank you so much for being here today. And I hope I see you on another video, either an upcoming one on this channel or over on the Zodiac channel. That's linked below. I also have playlists linked below if you'd like to watch through some of those. And the deck should be listed in the, in the description as well if you are interested in any of those. All right. Thank you, number one. Hello there, number two. Thank you so much for being here. Those of you who chose this beautiful blue heart with the triple goddess tarot. Hope you guys are doing very well. So let's see what might your person want to happen between you two. What are their hopes and desires for this connection with you? And please just keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. Leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else. Okay. You never have to take something from a tarot reading that does not seem to be right for you. Okay, so let's see. First, let's get some overall cards on what they're feeling about you in this connection. So the first card out, we have the Six of Cups with the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Wands. Seeing this person is seeing a bright new day with you. And we have Justice here. All right, so I'm seeing right now a story of repair, reconciliation, reunion here possibly. It looks like there could have been some kind of breakup or just separation, silence for a while, just not as much communication. I feel this person really wants to break the silence with you with this Ace of Swords and with the Six of Cups. I just, they feel very drawn to you right now. Um, they might be thinking of a gift to give you. With the Two of Wands, I feel that this person might have recently taken a new path in life, taken a new direction, and it's making them rethink if they have room for a relationship in their life or more room, more time to give to the relationship with you. Let's get some Oracle cards for some more context here. So with Justice here, it looks like they want to be sure they're making things right between you two. Whatever the outcome ends up being here, they want to be sure that there's peace between you two because it looks like there's some genuine care here for you with the six of cups and here is bird cage okay with rejection And we got engagement in reverse. Wow, maybe for some of you, is this a broken engagement here? And then we have inspiration. Wow. Okay, yeah, I feel that for a lot of you watching, there was a breakup here, going of separate ways. But this person is, is just feeling drawn back to you, like you need to talk something over. I feel their heart is open here. Um, let's clarify this rejection. Or it could be that they were hesitating to take things to the next level with you. Maybe you guys were ready for a commitment and they said, hey, I'm not ready. I just feel too trapped when I'm in a commitment. I'm getting if there's been some time apart, they're starting to feel a bit cold without you. Okay, what's this rejection here? So this inspiration card could even be the divine may be lighting up their mind, being like, you need to reach out to number two. You guys need to make something right with number two. Okay, here's the Ten of Wands. I feel if they've rejected you, number two, it's weighing heavily on them. It has not been easy for them to walk away from you, if that's the case here. Okay, so number two, what do they want to happen between you two? What do they want to happen here?
We have Bountiful Harvest. Okay, this is a very positive card here. I'm getting they might want to share something special with you, or I feel they want to do something to help you out, like materially help you out in life, especially if they feel that maybe they did you wrong by um, not being ready for a commitment, by possibly breaking an engagement. If that's the case, I'm sorry about that. That's always rough. All right, this is the Queen of Swords here. We have the Four of Swords. I feel they want to know what's been going on in your life. And we have the world here. So I feel they're highly aware of all of your skills, abilities, talents, potential. And if, especially if you guys have been away from one another for a while, you haven't talked for a while, they're really curious to see what you've been up to in your life and to see everything that you've produced. Maybe some of your creative output. Um just to see how far ahead you've gone in life. So I'm getting they're very curious and interested in your life. I feel they might also want to share some of their successes, but I feel they especially want to put the focus on you and see how you've been doing and to see if there's anything they can do to assist because there is this feeling for them like, if I haven't been able to offer you a commitment, I still care about you. I still want to do something to help you get ahead in life because you deserve that. They might... If this is totally over between you guys, I feel they might also want to help you find um, a suitable partner for you. They might want to introduce you to someone possibly. So just take that if it makes sense for your situation. Here's Will You Choose Me with I Imagine You Naked. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see what else. take this if this resonates this person might also be looking for a physical connection for you right now with you right now okay we have the page of wands the three of pentacles I'm also getting that they might want to collaborate on some kind of creative project with you guys um, some of them might be reaching you out to you about collaboration and being like will you choose me to work on this with you and part of that is like they still feel such a strong physical attraction to you that they if they know that you're not open to having like a physical connection with them they still want to be around you because it it just makes them feel so good to see you okay and then we have the wheel of fortune they really feel there's a lot of unfinished business between you two that um, I feel it's been weighing heavily on them. Here's judgment. It's been coming up in their conscience that there needs to be something more between you two. They're still like the story isn't over here is what they're feeling. So they're like, even if we don't go forward as romantic partners, at least at this moment, then there's still something else for us to do. There's still something amazing we can create together. So that could be what this bountiful harvest is all about too. They feel that you guys could maybe even go into business together they're like, we could be so strong together. This naked card I'm also getting could be more symbolic where they want to get to know more of your desires around um, what you what your greatest passions are in life, what your greatest creative passions are. And they want to see if you guys can work together on those things. So I feel they just want to know more of your soul. Okay, here is direction, guidance, being led, following signs. So I was getting that this person is getting some kind of divine guidance to make something right with you because their, their soul is just not at ease. Okay, we have the tower. So they might have gone through some kind of unsettling experience that made them realize, you know what, I'm going in the wrong direction in my life. I'm just chasing passions and it's getting me nowhere. And they realize being with you just felt right. They felt at home with you. This feels like it has a little bit of connection to number one as well. Okay, we have the five of cups. Goodness, I feel like this person has had a lot of time to just sit in regret and sorrow. Especially like this could mean maybe something along the lines of they got sick, 
and then they had a lot of time to just be in hermit mode and think back ab about the past with you and just maybe even miss you and feel like I wish number two was here to comfort me. So I feel in this way, the divine has been leading them back to you to at least make something right. So they might want to just also bump into you at some point. Here's the fool. Okay, wow, we have the world, the wheel of fortune, and the fool all in a line here. So this person really feels like you guys are meant to have another, maybe another go at this together, or just start a new chapter, chapter together, write a new book together, maybe literally write a book together. Okay, a page of cups was just showing up on the bottom of the deck as well. So creativity is on this person's mind. For a few of you, maybe they even want to have children with you. Okay, but of course they recognize they would have to work through some of these issues and they have to work through their own issues of being ready to commit. Okay, let's get a few cards from this bag here. We have the eighth house. This is intimacy, could be marriage as well. Look at these rings here. Thorns, oh my gosh. So weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. I feel they're really learning the lesson right now that the things that are really worth it in life do not come easily. Like you have to pay for them. You have to take up your cross and bear it. The Ten of Wands here. That the things that are really, really worth it in life, sometimes there's some suffering that comes along with it. And it's worth it. Sacrifice and suffering. Okay. And then we have Coffin here as well. Natural endings abound. Take care with your health. Yeah, I was getting that maybe they were going through some kind of health issues and or something where that just got them thinking deeply. Like if they experienced a death of a loved one or something, it really made them start thinking more like, wow, I don't really have this someone to really turn to right now, someone who could really be there for me. So I'm getting like their, their mind is on till death do us part now. So, wow. So I feel suddenly this reading just got a lot deeper with this person. So let's see what these cards have to say because these are going to have maybe a little bit different of a tone. Some of these cards are very hard hitting. So just a heads up. So just take what resonates for you. This says they are draining. They are draining. So yeah, you guys, um, if this person you ever do feel drained by them, like consistently, I would recommend still keeping your distance. If this person has been able to turn things around and be able to contribute more, then um, just make sure that things stay fair and equal between you two as much as possible. Then we have they are a good influence. Interesting. It's like con contrasting things here. But yeah, if any connections for you, this one or other connections just feel so draining, that's a key to take a break to keep some distance. Um, gossip is affecting the connection. So it could be also maybe they're being drained by someone else, by something else, even a, a really difficult job. Um, let's clarify the they are draining card. This could also mean maybe they went through a period of time where they were losing money and that helped wake them up to what means the most to them in life. I also am getting that they could be like, um, I'm getting like draining toxins out of their body so their health is improving. And something about their improving health, health they, they feel like they're being reborn and they feel like this new person. Okay, we have the seven of wands. I feel like this might be something that they recognized about themselves that they're like, you know, I need to be more of a giver in my life. I don't want to be a taker in my relationships. Um, let's see. Gossip is affecting the connection. We have the seven of pentacles here. Okay. Um, I feel that it's almost like it's affecting it in a good way where I feel this person, um, might have had some parent, like parents or grandparents or siblings talking to them and telling them, you know, it might be time for you to settle down it's good for you to just invest in one person in one relationship as your special relationship rather than 
just try to just be everywhere, be with everyone. They're like, that's probably not so healthy for your soul. So I feel someone gave them some advice to invest. And that could mean in a uh, special relationship. And this could also mean literally their money. So just having better habits around their resources in life. Okay, so they've been learning some major lessons lately. Okay, what might be a possible next action from them in this connection? We have the Celtic knot here, unconditional love, um, eternal love, love of a lifetime. Wow, okay, let me get a tarot card along with that. We then have the Nine of Cups. Wow, so it's almost like they might want to make one of your dreams or wishes come true. And if you guys still want a chance in this connection, um, I feel they might want to talk that over with you. And I just feel that they want to feel the love with you again. They want to spend some more time with you. Just see if that those old magical feelings are still there. Because they're like, if this is meant to be, then... It will feel like no time has passed at all. We'll be able to just start right back up where we where we left off. Okay, any advice for you in this connection number two? I'm going to get a card for anything you should do more of in this connection. We have the Six of Pentacles here. Okay, so... I feel like this is saying make sure that things are fair and balanced between you two. Be sure you're not over giving to this connection, this person. Um, let them give a little, then you give a little. Just make sure things don't get too out of balance. This could mean um, maybe share some more of yourself with this person. Share a little bit more of your world with them so they can have a better understanding of you. Okay, what might be something to do less of in this connection? We have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Okay, so I'm getting from these pictures here. Um, I'm almost getting like this parent and child thing. So make sure, um, like make sure you guys are talking as equals. Because sometimes it can be really easy to talk to a partner like they're a child and you're the parent. So, and it's really easy to do that unconsciously. So you might want to watch for anywhere that um, you're not talking to them as equal. Or if they're doing that to you, you might want to point it out to them. Okay, so anything else you need to hear about this connection? We have balance. Interesting. One person is giving too much in this relationship. So that's the second time balance has come up as advice here. And then we have go slow, take time to get to know each other. So be sure if you decide to keep proceeding in this relationship that you're not having to do all the work. Um, number two, that they are putting some effort in as well. Another card of advice. And then we have gatherings. Okay, so I'm feeling like maybe a next step is for your family to meet them or your friends and vice versa because I feel like that's going to give you a, a better perspective on this person um, if you guys have already met each other's families um, this could mean to maybe spend more time I'm also getting okay I'm also getting this that sometimes we can get so into a person that we spend like all of our time and our attention on them so this is saying be balanced also in your personal life make sure you're still spending time with your friends and your family or any loved ones you have um, don't neglect them okay so spend good time with your person here but also spend some good times um, with your friends with your family maybe orchestrate some gatherings um, okay, let's just get some general advice for you guys. Anything you need to know or hear right now. And then we will take a look at some message cards from your person. We have be brave, guardian angel. So I feel like this could be saying be brave, stick up for yourself, tell this person the truth if that is on your heart. Number two. 
or if you feel that this connection is not good for you, be brave to walk away. Be yourself. Okay, be brave, be yourself. Yeah, I feel that you guys are so... I feel like you guys are the kind of people that are so nice and so sweet and so kind that you have the tendency to just forget about yourself and your own desires. And that can be good to a certain extent, but balance keeps coming up for you. So I feel like there's something out of balance where maybe you just give too much of yourself to the other in the relationship. So it's important to make sure that you're not being run over. You're not being bulldozed over number two. And this could mean spending more time with yourself, getting to know who you authentically are. What are your likes and your dislikes? Who are you at the deepest levels? All right. And then we have cardinal medicine. So um, anything here? This says you are worth all the seas and all the skies and all the desires you hold inside. I feel this is saying it's time to give yourself and your desires and your likes and dislikes a little more attention. So some kind of self in, um, inventory or journaling could be very helpful for you right now. So I was almost seeing this uh, as she's looking into a pond. She's not really there, but just like looking at your reflection time to get to know yourself better. Okay, some message cards from your person now. And the people who truly care about you, they will accept you for you. As long as you're not doing something to hurt others. Okay, so you're not doing anything harmful. Let's get a shadow message and a light message from your person. I'm also getting some of you guys could be really good artists, painters, especially like um, like natural subjects, like painting birds and stuff like that, or really good photographers. I've been in denial. Yeah, this person did have some kind of wake-up call experience. And then the light message is, I love how close we are in body, mind, heart, and soul. So this person might have um, done some exploring and realizing that there's not another connection that feels as good as and complete and deep as the one with you. All right, what else might this person say? So this be brave, be yourself, I'm also getting is, is saying, don't be afraid to try out some new hobbies or learn a new skill because you guys might find more of your authentic self there or meet some new friends. Here's, I've been having regrets. Yeah, I feel this person has a lot to regret, especially if there's been some time apart, not talking. This person's like, I really feel like I missed out on a lot of time with you. Let's start over. I have a secret. So this person might have some tea to spill. I'm emotionally unavailable. Interesting. That might be something that they're learning, or this might be something for you to watch out for or talk over with them. I don't know what to do is on the bottom of the deck here. I'm working on myself. Okay, so yeah, if you see some good evidence of this person working on themselves, they're making progress, they're improving how they're treating you in the relationship and talking to you, then there could be some hope for repair here. For a new start. I need more time. Yeah, in the meantime, you do you, number two. You have a great time. Enjoy going out with your friends, your family, start learning some new skills, doing some new hobbies. Just have the time of your life. Um, listening to some new music. I can't let you go. Yeah, I'm getting like with this person, no matter how much time and space they take, I feel it's always going to be feeling, they're always going to be feeling like I just can't quite get over number two. There's just something I need to make right there. Okay, and I regret what happened is on the bottom of the deck. So regret came through twice here. Very interesting. I want to see you as splitting from the deck, but of course that's only if you feel comfortable with that. Um, number two, it's all my fault, came off the top of the deck. Okay, 
Um, that's all I have for you here, number two. Thank you so much for uh, being here today, and I hope I see you soon, either on an upcoming video on this channel or one of the past videos. I have some playlists linked below. Also, the Zodiac channel is linked below if you like readings for your Zodiac sign. The decks are listed in the description as well if you're interested in any of those. All right, thank you, number two. Hello there, number three. Thank you for joining me here today. Those of you who chose this heart key with the transient light tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what does your, what might your person want to happen between you two. And please do keep in mind that this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. Leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else. You never have to take anything that feels wrong to you from a tarot reading. Okay, so let's get some overall cards here on what is your person feeling about you and the situation. Number three, um, we have the nine of coins in reverse. We have the Keeper of Vessels in reverse, so I believe this is the Queen of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Fool in reverse. Okay, let's see what else. Goodness. Then we have the Eight of Wands. With the present card in reverse. Okay, so with all these reversals, I feel that there was a recent direction change in this connection here. There could have been a falling out here. With the Eight of Wands being the only upright card here, I feel this person still feels very drawn to you. They might really feel like they want to urgently talk something over, it's like something that just happened perhaps. Let's look at some Oracle cards here for some more context. Interesting that a key showed up. Wow, that's is crazy. That looks almost exactly like the key on the top of the pile here. Wow. All right. So we also have the ostrich trap. Okay, I feel this person has maybe been in denial about something. We have closed mindedness on here. I feel they have not been able to see maybe everything you have to offer. I feel this person was blinded somehow. And just take this if it resonates, maybe um, they weren't truly right for you. So it could be even that there's some divine intervention here being like, look, there's a better opportunity ahead. This wasn't the path for you, number three. So maybe there was something that you weren't seeing as well. And then we have confidence here. All right, what else? Calling in your soulmate. All right, so I feel if you guys are feeling that there was that there was a failed connection here, this didn't get off the ground, this didn't go the way you wanted it. I feel like this card is encouraging you to have faith, have confidence that there are beautiful, beautiful things on the way for you, and more beautiful people for you to meet ahead in the future here. And magical powers is showing up as well. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's see. What does this person want to happen between you two? Number three. Yeah, I'm getting... This is saying have confidence that you guys... I, I feel like you guys can do something to turn your situation around right now. I feel something interesting can happen for you so quickly to kind of break you out of a rut. Here's patiently waiting. Um, I'm getting this person might be waiting for the right time to talk with you because we have the Eight of Wands, which is very fast, um, but then the present card is reversed. So I feel they want to talk to you right now or they want to see you right now, but you guys might have shut them out and been like, no, I need some time to heal my heart. Uh, I just don't know if I'm ready. Um, love letter is on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I feel this person really wants to explain themselves to you. So I feel maybe they feel bad about something. Maybe they did something to hurt your feelings or just offend you and you're just like, forget this. And I feel they're saying, oh shoot, you misunderstood me. I didn't mean it that way. Okay, we have the nurturer or the empress with the revealer or the high priestess. 
I feel that this person wants to give you time and space to see if you want to open up again, if you want to reveal, like talk about secrets with them, some of your secrets. And here's the hanged one. Wow. So this, this is interesting because I feel this is all just about waiting here. So I feel this person's just like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for whenever you want to talk things over, whenever you want to reach out to me, because I'm feeling that they are putting the power in your hands. Number three, they're like, this is up to you if you, if you want to reconcile with me. So I really feel they don't want to force anything here. So they're like, just reach out to me if you want to work on this. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. I do see that this person wants a new start with you. They want a do-over if that is something you want as well. Okay, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Swords. Wow. So I feel that this person is actually very nervous, very afraid that you might not be open to repairing the connection between you two. And we have the Three of Coins on the bottom of the deck. So if you guys work together, I feel like this person could be maybe waiting until you see each, see each other again at work. Or they just want to figure out how you guys can still play a part in one another's lives. Even if there was some kind of differences here. Even if they feel that you are not ready to be in this connection with them. They're still hoping that there, there could maybe be a friendship here or something. Some way you guys can contribute to one another's lives. But I, I really am getting the message that there was some divine redirection going on here because it seems a little confusing. It feels like this person actually really wants this with you. They want things to happen, but I, I just feel all of these blocks all of a sudden, these blockades that have been put up because there could be something where you have some divine protection around you and like your guardian angels just seeing like, you know, this isn't going to go down a good path, at least not right now. So you need your time and your space to figure out what you want, what you want next for your life. And I feel your, your guardian angel, or your guides re just really want you to think over like uh, rationally, just in the most logical way possible. Is this person good for you? Do you see a future with them? Okay, we have moving swiftly. Yeah, I've, maybe this person was even wanting to move faster than you wanted to move, number three. So I feel they're trying to prove to you that, yeah, I can wait for you, that I'll give you time. But in their heart, they want to move faster than you're moving right now. This could also mean maybe they want to relocate or travel with you. Oh, geez. These cards are, like, sticky right now. Okay, we have the Champion of Wands which I believe is the Knight of Wands in this deck. So that can be about long distance travel as well. So I see they want to just maybe get out, go on a big adventure with you. They feel like that might help to lighten things up, to like get the energy flowing between you again, make things light between you. Seven of Wands. And we have the sun in reverse. Wow. Okay. I feel this person is really having a hard time maybe having fun in their life without you. And I feel that's why they're so determined to maybe figure out if you guys can make things work. If you can have a shared life together. If you can maybe um, like live together, live in the same location. If this is long distance. Um, they're feeling really kind of chaotic and lost without more of your attention right now because I feel you brought a lot of sunshine to this person's life. You brought a lot of meaning and purpose and hope to them. And they I feel they're getting really worried and anxious without your like calm, nurturing presence there. So I, I'm also getting a lot of you guys could be watching for a platonic connection as well, more than usual. All right. So yeah, th this person really misses your nurturing 
and the care that you had for them. Maybe you have always been very, very patient with them and they, they maybe took that for granted. And I feel they are just like wanting to run back to you or maybe get on the nearest plane or train and be close to you. Cause I really am getting for most of you. This is long distance. Okay. So I'm curious what else will come out of here. We have literally a mixed bag here with four different decks, I think. Okay, first card out, we have Alchemy. We have Dating. Maybe you guys have been dating and they just noticed that there was a really amazing, interesting, magical chemistry between you two and they want more of that. Here's Intimacy as well. Yeah, I feel them really wanting to maybe start dating you for the first time if this was just friend, like friends to lovers. Um, I see that they want to get closer to you. I'm getting their, it's almost like they're willing to do anything in their power to make things work here. So um, all the reversals could mean they also want to just turn the whole situation around. Like if you started walking away, I feel they want you to turn back to them. They're like, come back, come back. I know that you're okay on your own. I know that you can do maybe better on your own without me, but I want to figure out how I can transform myself and be better for you and be the partner that you want and need in your life. All right, so let's see what these cards have to say. Some of the cards are in this deck are kind of hard hitting, so just take what resonates for you. Okay, family issues are affecting this connection. So it could be maybe they were not communicating what was going on with them. They could have been kind of secretive and maybe that made you assume the worst. It could be that they just didn't want to open up about something with their family. So just take that one if it resonates for you. Or if this is long distance, maybe it's making, harder, it's making it harder for them to travel or relocate to be closer to you. Um, they are speaking highly of you. Yeah, I do get this person still has this high opinion of you, especially with the Empress coming out. What was this one? Yeah, the High Priestess. There, there is a lot of respect here for you. They feel that you are wiser, more knowledgeable than they are. So I feel they do look, at, look to you for advice and they're starting to feel lost without your advice and your guidance. Okay, they want to impress you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the angels support this connection. That's interesting. So yeah, I was getting some like guardian angel intervention here. So even if there was some kind of intervention to be like, let you guys separate for a while, it could be so that this person could work out some stuff on their own and realize, come to their senses that they need to be um, a better partner for you, that they need to do more to pull their own weight or more to contribute. All right. So Let's see, any advice for you in this connection? Actually, I was going to look at possible next actions first. <clears throat> okay, possible next actions here. What might this person do next in this connection? Number three. Okay, we have Pluto, the Great Revealer, Judgment. So they might open up to you and maybe let you know what's really been going on with them if they did have some family issues or other issues around them, if they've been keeping that quiet, I feel they want to just reveal it all. They want to open up to you. They might even want to open up to some deeper feelings here. They're like, let's not be so mysterious, so cryptic with each other. Anything else about their next move? We have the six of vessels or cups. So this is about emotional healing, reunion, reconciliation, um, memories. I feel that they are really missing you and their heart is just drawing them back. So they might even want to talk to you, like have an icebreaker around, hey, remember this? They might send you a photo of something you guys did together in the past. Be like, let's do this again. So I see them maybe wanting to repeat some kind of tradition you guys have as well or make some kind of new tradition. All right, so advice for you in this connection, number three. If you would like some advice, let's see, what's something to do more of in this connection? We have judgment in reverse. All right, so it's interesting that judgment was there. Next action, so this could mean if you're not comfortable opening up more with them, you don't have to tell them everything, you don't have to reveal all your secrets, so maybe keep things to yourself until you feel comfortable 
um, being closer, more intimate to this with this person, or perhaps if you guys are just totally done with this connection, then you don't have to share anything more of yourself. Okay, and something to do less of. We have the seven of vessels or cups here. Something to do less of. So I would say maybe doing less worrying about the future, spending less time just being confused and just constantly mulling over this connection. I feel um, the message here is just don't worry so much about it. I feel like things will work out as they're supposed to. I feel this could also be saying that you guys have really done all you could do in this connection so far. So it could be this person's turn to maybe put in some of the work and show you how serious they are. If it's something you still want to accept into your life. Um, number three, and this could also be saying if you are just moving forward with your life now, then don't worry too much about the future. Just take things one, one day at a time. Don't get overwhelmed with all of your options ahead of you. All right, any, any other advice on this connection here? We have put away the computer, working less and having more fun will strengthen your relationship. And we have frost. Okay. Um, yeah, with judgment in reverse, frost, I feel this is saying to protect your heart. Um, usually I don't feel like it's good advice to be cold, but maybe you guys need that advice right now to be a little bit cooler and calmer with this person. Yeah, maybe cool down your emotions. And I also am getting put away the computer. You don't, don't work too hard on this connection if this person is, um, hasn't been putting in the work. I feel like it could be their turn to put in the work. So just take what resonates for you from that. Um... Yeah, I feel this could be may maybe just you guys have done so much computing on this, just running things over and over and over in your head about the situation and maybe if things could work out. So this is saying just go have some more fun. Just um, get things off your chest for a while. Just uh, leave your worries behind. Okay. Um, let's. I'm just going to get you guys some general advice now. And then we'll get some message cards from your person. So anything else that you need to know or hear right now? Number three. We have generosity. St. Nicholas of Myra. I think that might be St. Nicholas like Santa Claus. Um, we also have believe. St. Hildegard of Bing Bingen. That's interesting. Like believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> um, yeah. Believe that there is good out there for you number three if you guys are trying to um, maybe call in a soulmate for you um, I feel this could mean to pray about it to pray call in your soulmate also to pray I, I've heard also some good advice to pray to be to be transformed into the person that will attract the kind of person that you really want to be in a relationship with okay this could also be saying to spend some more time with the people you recognize to be generous in your life because they can help give you a boost. They can help you believe in yourself, believe in, in the magic of life again. So maybe also reading some books, watching some movies that help you believe in um, the magic of life and believe in miracles that believe and believe in transformation and that things can turn around and be different for you. Okay, make each day count. I love that. So seize the day. Believe that you can um, do a lot. You can get a lot done in one day. Number three, you guys have a lot of power. Um, just little things add up over time. So just repeating the same habit day after day after day of something that you really want to develop. Um, that is like compound interest where it has amazing effects on your life. If you choose um, one or two positive habits to work on, you won't even recognize yourself within like a year or two. All right, one more card. So this could also be saying, don't waste any more time mulling over um, like failed relationships. Maybe learn the lessons, but if you if you already feel like you know the lessons, then don't waste any more time mulling over them. So that could mean, even mean like if you want to stop watching tarot readings for relationships for a while, that might be a good idea. If you feel they're not really helping you, they're just getting you stuck thinking about the relationship again. Okay, we have gratitude showing up for you as well. 
Um, it says, all that I am and all that I'll be, forever in gratitude, I'll eternally be. So I feel this is saying you guys have so much coming in your future to be grateful for. And you can even call it in through gratitude. Believe in the good stuff coming in in the future for you. Um, believe in the generous people that are going to be coming into your life. Be believe in the generosity of God, of the divine, your angels. Um, believe in the good. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of evil. There's a lot of horrible stuff in this world, but there's also a lot of good. So try to focus more on that. And just um, gratitude is a powerful, powerful magic. Um, it can really work miracles and transform your life. If you just spend even a little bit of time each day making a short gratitude list, focusing on the things that you actually truly love about life, even if there's a lot you don't like about your life, there's still got to be at least one or two little things in there that you really do like that you get to encounter every day. Um, Let's see, that, that might be a good habit for you to work on as your, your gratitude practice, um, either making a list, doing a gratitude, just a short gratitude prayer. I'm sure you can do some Googling and find all kinds of ideas on that. Um, I know that's advice that constantly comes up, but it's actually very powerful advice. Um, when you're in a state of gratitude, it's like you can't be in mental darkness. It really drives the demons away. Okay, so... And maybe finding some music that helps put you in that state of gratitude as well. All right, let's get a shadow message and a light message from your person. I feel like this is saying there's a lot of people who are very grateful that you're here as well. I need to be alone. Okay. Yeah, I feel this person needs needs some time. Needs some time to wait a way to understand how special that you were in their life and a light message. Oh, speaking of light, your light helps me navigate through the darkness towards you. So I feel you've done a lot to help transform this person with this alchemy card. They are going through a massive transformation right now. That could be why all the reversals here are are here as well. That everything they thought they knew about life and love is getting turned on its head. And they're having to reorient their life. All right. Some more message cards from them. I want more than what we have. So that could be what's occurring to them right now. They're like, I've been blind up to this point. I'm still healing. I'm getting lost in the memories. Interesting. That that was their possible next action was the Six of Cups here. Wanting to um, maybe uh, replay some memories with you or repeat some, like a really good date that you guys had together or... Uh, whatever it is. Share some pictures with you. All right, what else? I'm ready to open up. I don't want to lose you. So yeah, it might be their turn to open up. Maybe you guys opened up for a while and now you're like, okay, I'm shutting down. I'm I don't want to reveal anything more to you, but I feel like the tables have turned. They might want to, yeah, the tables have turned reversed and they're like, okay, I need to reveal more of myself to you because I didn't really share too much of myself with you before. And I wasn't honest with you. Okay. The truth might be coming out here possibly and I miss you. All right. I hope this helped you. Number three, thank you so much again for being here and I hope I see you soon either on an upcoming video on this channel or one of the past ones. I do have some playlists linked in the description if you like playlists. Also, the Zodiac reading channel is linked below as well if you want some readings for your Zodiac sign and if you're interested in any of the decks, I should have those listed in the description as well. All right, thank you number three. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey there, number four. Thank you so much for choosing to join me here. Those of you who chose this shiny, maybe opalite with the Yuletide Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's take a look at what might your person want to happen between you two. First, we'll get some cards on overall what this person is feeling about you and the connection. And please do keep in mind, this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. 
leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else and you never have to take anything that feels wrong from a tarot reading for yourself. All right, so first card out, your person's overall feelings towards you, number four. We have the three of candles or wands. We have the nine of candles or wands. We have Matrona or the Empress. Page of Gifts or Pentacles. I feel like this is this person is worried if they have enough to give you. I'm also getting the specific message as some of them don't know what to get you for Christmas or your birthday or an upcoming holiday. Okay, okay. Then we have the Eight of Canes. I can't talk right now. Swords. Eight of Swords. All right, wow. Yeah, this person is really doubting themselves. And look, we have the Five of Gifts or Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Gosh. All right, so this person might have some serious doubts. I think one thing that they do not doubt, though, is your value, your worth, your beauty. Um, they're questioning themselves. They're like, am I enough for number four? So I know number four is more than good enough for me. I'm just this humble little page boy or page girl. And um, am I going to have enough to give this queen or this king? Okay, second chances. So maybe you guys, maybe this person wasn't ready at first. And now they could be seeing a, more of a future with you. New beginnings as well. Or this could be really starting to get off the ground right now. It might be they're like, this is my second chance at love. I'm giving love another shot, especially if they had a difficult, rocky past in love before. Like a difficult breakup. Oops, I didn't mean to get this deck, but you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. So they might want to work on repairing things with you, or this could mean that um, they are afraid of being hurt by you, hurt by this connection here. All right, another card from this deck. Then we have tools. All right, so I feel like this person is running through their mind um, any possible solutions, anything really practical they can do to help you in your life to maybe prove their value to you. This person definitely wants to put in the effort. I feel they're not shy about doing hard work. So they could be a very hard worker at their job. And I feel you inspire them to work even harder in life. Creativity, yeah, there's definitely um, some uh, energi energize. You have an energizing effect on them, number four. So I also feel this person is highly attracted to you, very inspired by you. So I feel the physical track attraction, they try to sublimate it. They try to um, bring it higher up into like their their heart, into their mind. And I feel the attraction they have for you, they want to use to um, bring creative solutions to your life to make your life better. I feel they want to prove to you their worth through some of their talents and skills. And they want to be like, look how, look how I can make your life so much better. I need to prove this to you. Okay, here's keep an open mind says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So maybe you guys are not each other's usual type. And this is what's maybe making this person a little more doubtful or fearful that they might not be enough for you or they don't know. Um, they can't really figure you out. They're not too sure what you like. I do feel they're willing to accommodate you in many different ways. Okay. And then we have strength. Strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I am power. All right, so I feel this person wants to build something uh, that will be very long lasting with you. They want to build a strong foundation with you. I feel this person has no fear of commitment, of spending their, the, their whole life with someone. So I feel that's not a problem with them settling down with someone. 
Okay. So they do feel a very strong connection with you. They also feel that you are a very strong and confident person and this really attracts them to you because I feel they wish for more strength and confidence in themselves. So they really like that you have that. They admire you for that. All right. Let's see. What do they want to happen between you two? Number four. We have taking action. Okay, so I feel they want to keep moving things forward, maybe very quickly. Time to make a move. Okay, so um, that could be what they're a little nervous or doubtful, fearful about here. Budding romance that they're starting to really fall for you. And they're like, I need to make my move or I'm going to miss out on number four. Someone like number four doesn't come around every day. And if I want to claim them as mine, I better make that move. Because otherwise someone else will be making a move on number four. So I better be quick. Um, this horse could also represent maybe traveling somewhere with you. And then we have the eight of candles or wands also representing travel. And this is a very fast moving card as well. With the ace of canes or swords. Okay, so I see them wanting to um, keep the communication going between you two. Maybe a lot of rapid fire communication, a lot of texting going on, some very deep and honest discussions as well. They might want to go on a special trip or adventure with you so you guys can just have time and space just to talk over everything and anything together. And oh, that's beautiful. We have a star here as well. I feel this person really wants to figure, they want to figure you out so they can make some of your hopes and dreams come true. Um, they are like, I really want to make it worth your while to be with me, to maybe spend your life with me. Okay, so they're really willing to change things about their life as well with this keep an open mind card. So they're like, I'm not super rigid about how I live my life. I might like routine and structure, but I also am flexible. A lot of you guys could be with a Virgo or someone with a lot of Virgo in their chart. You are my everything. Okay. So I feel they want to make this known to you that you mean the world to them and, or they might want to fully commit to you if you guys don't have that yet. They want to prove this to you that they would just do anything for you. I feel they want to show you that um, they value you more than anything or anyone in their life that you're their number one priority. Here's the king of canes or swords. And I feel they also want to show you that they have done a lot of thinking on this, that it really makes sense to them that, um, being with you is just the next right step for them in their life. And they hope it is for you too. Here's a six of gifts or pentacles. So I am seeing them doing a lot of thinking about what's the best possible, like actually material gift that they could give you. Or just what could they do to help you, to serve you? And they want to be like, I've done a lot of thinking on this. What do you think about me like doing this for you? For example, I just heard like buying a car for you. Um, it might not be that drastic, but um, this person really does want to give you a lot of their resources. They want to show you that you mean something to them by just like how much they're willing to spend on you or how much time they're willing to spend on you, what they're willing to do for you. So they want to show you that they're willing to make sacrifice <clears throat> sacrifices for you. Okay, here's the sun as well. So wow, we have the sun, we have the star, we have the ace of swords, uh, ten of gifts or pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, I feel this person wants to take you out on a very... Um, like a very happy date where maybe it's everything that you like to do. I feel that they could be in the midst of planning out like a really special day where they're going to give you some kind of gift or announce some kind of thing for you to be like, hey, I'm going to help you with this and or just surprise you with something that they've changed about their life or like, hey, I'm going to move, um, move location, be with you. And I feel they just want to have a whole day where they just make you happy. They just want to see you smile. All right. What else is going on here? So this person takes a lot of joy in the connection with you. And they might be someone who's kind of serious and somewhat stoic with this king of swords. But um, 
I feel that's why you mean so much to them because a lot of things don't really deeply emotionally affect them, but you do. Okay, then we have lost, wandering, astray, not seeing the way out. So maybe if there's been something confusing about this connection here, there's been some kind of problem between you two, something that seems like you guys can't figure it out. I feel they want to maybe talk through, hey, is there some kind of solution that we're not seeing here? Can we figure this out? Here's the three of gifts or pentacles. Teamwork. Okay, cool. Um, with the king of good cheer or cups. And let's see, these two cards want to come off the top of the deck as well. So we have the hanged man and the wheel of the year or wheel of fortune. Okay, so I feel this person wants to let you know that they are confident that you guys can figure out anything together. That maybe something in the future looks maybe bleak or uncertain or like there could be some big obstacle for you too, but they're like, you know what? I really have a lot of feelings for you. And I think if we just surrender, we maybe pray about it, there's, there will be some kind of solution. So I feel they also want to explain to you that they really feel that you two are right for one another and they're willing to move forward um, despite any challenges that are coming up between you two. They're like, it's so worth it. It's going to be so worth it to face those challenges with you. It'll be easier to do that than to um, back down from those challenges and spend a life without you. I really don't want that. Okay, so I just see this person wanting to get a lot more serious with you. Wanting to get more loving. All right, let's get some more cards from this bag here. We have procrastination. With rejection. Maybe some of you guys rejected them. If they were taking, they were maybe taking too long. They were procrastinating and making any kind of move with you. And I feel now they're realizing like, oh my gosh, I need to move fast. And then we have chivalry. So here's like the Knight of Cups coming in here again. All right. So I feel this person is very, very determined to win you back or win you over. Because they're like, I'm sorry that I was taking too long before. I don't want to lose you. I hope you have it in your heart to forgive me for taking too long. We also have August 13th as a possible special date here. Okay, so <clears throat> we get one more deck for any more information here. There are some hard hitting cards in this deck, so just take what resonates for you. All right, anything else we need to know or see about this person? They want to be friends forever. So, wow. So they're like, no matter what happens, even if you do reject me, I, I will take, I promise to take it well. And I promise to still care about you and be there for you and do whatever I can for you. I want to be this person who's always by your side. So I feel they want to offer like an unconditional friendship to show you that they're serious and they really do care about you and they really love you. And they're willing to take their time with you. They want to hang out. Yeah, I feel they really want to spend a lot more time with you. Maybe some of them procrastinated spending more time with you. They were too focused on their work or fixing something else in their life. Or obsessed with like a creative project that they have. But they're like, no, I need to spend some more time with you. So yeah, here's the hangman with the wheel of the year here. I feel that they, some of them maybe want to spend a really good year together. Um... Like spend a whole year together and then maybe at the end of the year be like, okay, now let's make a decision. Should we um, get married or should we go our own ways? Um, something like that where they want, I feel they're very, they're wanting to take you very seriously. Like kind of a courtship type thing. And there is a fake person around them. Yeah, this person could be a magnet for fake people because I feel that they're a very like, good, genuine, strong, true person. And so that kind of person can uh, easily attract people who want to leech off of them. So um, take that if that resonates for you. And on the bottom of the deck, you, we have you inspire them to change. Okay. Yeah, the biggest inspiration here is they, they see they have something so special with you. And they're like, I do not want to miss out on this. All right. What, what is their possible next action with you, if anything? Okay. We have the Falcon rising above. 
So something about flight here, again, I feel this person wants to travel to you or travel with you. Um, I'm seeing they also want to figure out a solution that you guys haven't thought of yet. They want to look at the bigger picture with you. They want to take things to the next level, perhaps, whatever that means for your net, for your connection. And here's the Queen of Gifts or Queen of Pentacles. I feel they also want to show you that they really, really respect you. They respect your boundaries. Um, third eye is on here as well. So I was already getting just this like moving of their passions up to the higher energy centers where they, um, I feel they care more about the like mind to mind connection and the heart to heart connection with you rather than the physical connection at this point. So I don't feel that they will be making a physical move towards you until you are receptive and you are ready and you invite them in with that. I just feel that this person's very, very respectful of you. And if this is a man, I feel that they're very respectful of women in general, if you're a woman. All right. So let's see here. Um, advice for you in this connection. What's something to do more of in this connection? Number four. Two of gifts, two of pentacles. So yeah, I'm getting just spending more time with them, hanging out with them, maybe inviting them into more of your daily life, your daily routine, um, seeing how they live their daily life. Just seeing if you guys really mesh well on a kind of a more casual routine basis. Maybe you guys have taken some really amazing trips or adventures together and that went really well, but you need to make sure that you work well on the everyday level as well if you are getting more serious with them. And what's something to do less of in this connection? We have um, the Hierophant. Okay, let's see here. I feel maybe doing less of just thinking too seriously about the connection. I feel that things will move very naturally for you guys. So um, maybe like pushing for a commitment because if you're seeing that this person is transforming for you, you're seeing them really continue to make moves towards you and getting more serious about you. Um, I feel just making sure you're not pushing them too much about a commitment. Now, of course, if they're just taking forever and you're not seeing any progress, they're not taking you seriously and you guys really want that commitment, um, then yeah, it might be time to just be like, okay, I, I need this commitment or I need to go if, that if that's what you guys feel like. But you might not want to just bring it up too often or too much. So just take that that resonates for you, of course. Okay, so any other advice, anything else you need to know about this connection? Number four, we have friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay, so it did feel that there's a good natural building of a relationship between you two. I see, I'm also feeling this person definitely likes you as more than a friend for sure, but since they're trying to be very respectful, they are focusing more on the friendship aspect. And then we have wise men. Okay, so yeah, I was getting that this person has been maybe talking to some of their elders and just realizing um, that what they're saying for their advice makes a lot of sense. So I'm getting like you guys are in good hands here, that there there are people around the connection who are helping to guard and guide you guys together. So I feel you both are pretty wise. You, you know what you're doing here. I feel that you guys have been following some good advice. So you can trust yourself in this connection, number four. All right, so let's get you guys some general advice, anything, any general messages for you, and then we'll get some message cards from them. So what do you need to know or hear right now, number four? We have sweetness, guardian angel. You could be uh, being recognized for your sweetness by your angels, by your guides. I feel you're a very sweet person. And we have journey within. It's coming up in reverse, so I don't know if we have a message with the reversal there, but let's see. Journey within. And let me get one more here. I feel this could be saying you guys do know yourself really well. 
and um, I feel if someone gets to know you, they will recognize just how sweet you are. If someone doesn't recognize this about you, um, I feel like that's a problem. Okay, and then we have Dove Medicine. Yeah, I feel it's important for people to recognize your the good intentions you have for others. I feel you guys are just very loving, very kind, and I feel this is saying to just because you're loving and kind doesn't mean you can't have boundaries. You can have very honest, kind boundaries, either in re like romantic relationships, but also friendships, family, re family relationships as well. I feel this is saying don't be so sweet that you will let others walk all over you. Okay. Um, okay. This The message on this card says, thy wings are thick and strong, I see, for they have battled the most unforgiving winds. Wow. So you guys have another very strong bird with strong wings here. So maybe this is saying like you guys have, you've been really sweet in your life. You've been very forgiving. Maybe you've, something you've done in your life has maybe recently earned your wings. You've earned your angel wings. So it says, be proud, be free, my child, go on, soar like never be or never before. Okay, so keep the peace of, um, keep the peace of God, the peace of divine, the peace of the sacred in your heart. Number four, I feel you are very, very blessed by the divine, by the universe, by God. And this is something very special about you. I feel that you, you guys have like this, um, spiritual crown, the spiritual wings around you because I feel like God, the divine has really seen your heart and knows your heart. And I feel there's a lot of protection around you. This wise men card is coming out to be like, I feel like there's wise spiritual guides and counselors that are available for you to pray to and for you to talk to, to be sure you're making the right decision here. Um, but I feel that you've been so good in this lifetime so far. I just feel there's been, there's a lot of divine help available for you. A lot of um, divine beings want to do favors for you here. Maybe they feel they owe you a favor or something. Okay, so let's get a shadow message and a light message from your person. It's easier to blame it on you. Okay, what is that all about? So yeah, maybe sometimes it's it's uh, hard for them to look to look within themselves. So this could be saying, make sure you're not blaming everything on yourself, number four. Now it's important for us to take responsibility and sometimes take the blame, but be sure you're not getting the blame for everything all the time or putting the blame f uh, f on yourself all the time. So it's important for others to take responsibility as well in all of your relationships. Okay, light message. Um, you are home to me. So this person, I feel they could want a home, possibly a family with you, if that's something you guys want. I feel they know very much that you are, you are the person for them. Here's, I find you interesting. Yeah, um, I feel not just, not just anyone grabs this person's mind, grabs their attention and inspires them, like really gets their mind going. I feel they find a lot of people kind of boring, but not you. Here's I'm depressed. Well, that's sad. And um, yeah, I was kind of getting that vibe from this person. So maybe, maybe if they are not always so responsive to you or excited or you're not seeing them as happy as so often, don't blame it on yourself, number four. Um, it really is some kind of issue within them. So they might need to reach out for some help on that. And no one can be happy like all the time. It's totally natural to be a little down sometimes, but if it's just ongoing forever and ever, then they might want to seek out some help. And here's, I feel you are unpredictable. So they are trying their best to learn how to work with you. And I'm falling in love. All right, that's a big deal for them. Okay, so that's cool because if they were, they've really been kind of depressed, it's good that they've been getting some really happy moments with you with that sun card that came out. I did feel that sun card felt a little rare for them. So I feel that's how they know you're someone really special is that you are able to bring in some of that happiness for them that they usually don't feel. But they always do try to do the right thing. Here's I'm overwhelmed. Even if they're not always having a lot of feelings. Um, I don't know what to do. 
So they might want a little direction from you because they're like, I can't always figure you out. I don't really understand what you would want me to do. I'm trying to like maybe shop for a gift for you. I want to make sure you like it. Um, I still check up on you. So yeah, I do see this person's quite concerned about you. And here's I want you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have I wasn't ready. And they're like, I hope we can have that second chance, the second go at this. I want to fix this is on the top of the deck. All right, I think that's all I have for you here, number four. Thank you so much for being here. Hope to see you very soon, either on an upcoming video on this channel or one of the past videos. I have some playlists in the description. Um, also, the Zodiac channel is linked below if you would like some readings for your Zodiac sign. Um, and if you're interested in what any of the decks are, I should have those listed in the description as well. All right. Thank you. Number four. Take care. Bye-bye.